Okay. Let's see. Bastard. This is UMHS Medical School. It's leaving my office for the main island road. Gatehouse, where the security guards stay. And this is Main Island Road. If we turn right, we go to Basseterre. If we turn left, we go all the way around the island. Right now, there's some traffic down, down to Ross, I guess. And that's it. Here's a classic island bus that will be behind. Okay, and we're off. The island is very small, so the, the medical school is only, uh, oh, maybe five minutes outside of Bastyr, which is both the only town and also the capital. Well, the weather's beautiful today, so uh, lovely blue sky, as you can see. Little, little puffs of cumulus clouds. There was an earthquake this morning at 7.30, um, about 120 kilometers away. It was uh, magnitude six, it kind of rocked the, uh, the apartment a little bit. You know, the, the cutlery was clinking and the plates were chattering with the earthquake tremor. And no real damage, so uh, that's cool. Okay. Well, that's it. We're, in, uh, we're about to enter Basseterre now. Basseterre is a French name because this island was uh, originally colonised by the French, then taken over by the English. Um, we fought the French with it a couple of times, and now the, the English have got it or had it. But the still name still stays the same. It's Basseterre, so uh, a French uh, expression. I think it means low. Low land, Bassa low and land town. Okay, the cinema was to our left hand side, but I don't suppose you can see that from here. Uh, the brewery is on our right hand side, which is a godsend. We make our own beer, thank goodness. And we can buy cheap beer, all oh, chickens. There's a rooster and three chickens by the side of the road, and more chickens. And they often see goats sometimes occasional cow wandering around, sometimes piggies taking themselves for a walk. Uh, they're not chained up, they just kind of wander around the island, they're not going anywhere. It's an island, where can they go? Uh, the bus has picked up some, uh, some passengers, probably some nurses from uh, JFN Hospital to the left-hand side. And this is it. This is downtown Bastille, I'm coming into downtown Bastille. Our cemetery is on the left hand side. It gets very busy on a, a burial day with lots of family and processions in the street so the traffic kind of gets diverted. There's always plenty of flowers in the cemetery. You can see one on the left hand side, plenty of flowers always on the graves. Still the cemetery on the left hand side. This is the high school on the right hand side. This is the, the major school. And every condition that ever become something, you know, that gets educated, will have come through Bastyr High School. We only have one high school. Oh, there's a little medical practice. And now 
Well, this is it. This is Kayon Street. The main drag through town. Oh, we're just going to cross this gut, Westbourne Street. It's a kind of a gut, it's a river uh, that doesn't flow unless it rains, but when it does rain, the street becomes a river. So I'll try and go as slow as I can. Now the traffic's not too bad today, it's a Saturday. Oh, little, little naked black children. <laughs> Bless them. Oh, here's our pool hall that's on the right hand side. Yeah, it looks really sketchy, but the pool hall's great. They've got a really nice table. I'm going to do a right down College Street, which is also a gut. You can see that the, the water still keeps, keeps going down here. There's a channel in the middle of the road for the, for the, the runoff, but during rains it will become a river and it's difficult to cross in the car. Not impossible, but it's uh, a little bit dodgy. When you get to the end of Kayon Street, we've got to cross uh, uh, another couple of streets, but when you get to the end, we'll, we'll be on Bay Street. And that's the main thoroughfare that runs across the front of the beach in Bass Terre. Lots of little businesses and little houses. We've got one more street to cross and then we'll be in the main drag. Okay, the usual smashed up car. There are very few cars without any dents in them. And that's basically because the way that these nutters drive. It's all rather insane. Oh! Cross for the nice lady and the baby. That's cool. And we'll have a quick riz round the ferry terminal, which is my favourite drinking hole. Um, it's probably the craziest place I've ever had a drink. Um, okay. We'll have a quick whiz round the ferry terminal. I don't think there's a ship in today, which means there's no one. There's no cruise liner in today, so there's not many tourists and it's not very busy, despite the fact that I still can't get out of this bloody street. Let's have a quick, quick look around the ferry terminal, which is to our left. And there's a customs officer. Half the people around here work in government customs. This is where I'm giving people jobs, but this is a, this one of the craziest places you can. These little bars all over. There's a chicken there, <laughs> outside of a bar. All these little bars on the left-hand side. Oh, and there's some, some fruit and veg being unloaded here. There's some military. Probably doing customs duties. Smuggling, drug smuggling. Oh, oh. sorry about that. So we just had a quick whiz around the ferry terminal. Okay. Actually, so. There's some people in the ferry terminal that I recognise. But I'm not going to leave the car now since I've got the camera on me. Oh, there's barbecue chicken and ribs on the right hand side. One, two, three, four, six whole half barrels. So considerable amounts of uh, barbecue chicken being done. That kind of indicates there is a cruise ship in town. Oh. And then there's Rams, the Chinese. We just passed a Chinese store on the right hand side. No, there is no cruise ship. I can't see a cruise ship, there's a Chinese store on the right hand side, then there's Rams Supermarket on the left. And I'll do a left here just to go around Independence Square. I 
This is the, the centre of town, this clock tower here. I guess it's left over from the British. This green clock tower in the centre, that's the very centre of town. There's some nice restaurants, yeah? The Balahu restaurant on the right hand side here. I've eaten there with, with the Avery's, that's up on the top there, on the top, top floor. It's a very colonial style restaurant. A reasonably good food. And as we come down here, we come into Independence Square. Which we'll go around. So it's a little bit of parkland. Here's a crane, there's a crane walking in the street. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. And there's the ice cream van. And my doctor's surgery is on the right hand side. Yeah. Dr. Holness. And there's a very colonial looking building. Presumably it's a government building. Or law firm or something. And there's CNC Superfood Markets. I never actually shopped there. Basically because they don't have much parking space. We have another school on the right hand side. Shalomers Fashions on the left. <laughs> and all these little locally owned, locally operated shops. As You Wink Grocery and Liquor Store, Sandra's Cafe, Totas for Enjoy Coca Cola. <laughs> 